In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Old World Boston, and we are joined by a junior explorer. Hello. All right, we're going to start with taking a look at the Great Fire of Boston. So I know the city of Boston's got a, a deep hitch history as far as North American cities go. So we're not going to get into that. We're just going to talk briefly about the Great uh, Boston Fire of 1872. Um, a few interesting tidbits of information to talk about a certain section of the city was burned and they mention here also during the course of the fire which burned uncontrolled for more than 12 hours buildings were blown up using black gunpowder in a controversial effort to create a fire break so let's look at a few visuals from the, that fire all right so it's pretty much the same old story this is interesting what does that look like to you cool yeah. Melted? Bit, mel bit melty, maybe, yeah. And you're having that same look that we've seen in other places where it doesn't look like fire damage. I suspect that little tidbit of the story with the blowing up of buildings is to explain this look away. Because there's so much visual evidence. A really interesting, uh, detailed panel here. And another one. I'm not going to harp on it too much because I want to get to the buildings. So just a few more here, just a handful. A depiction that's supposedly done in 1872. So very built out, the city there. Now this one, the effects of fire on granite walls. Have a look at this. So they're admitting that the fire melted granite. So that's what they're showing here. Strange for them to admit that, I would say. A uh, little blurb here. Same same story, this taken from Wikipedia. Uh, because everything was overinsured, they say many businesses had enough insurance money to begin rebuilding soon after the fire, and the business district was fully rebuilt within two years. Hogwash. Anyway, let's get to the buildings. All right. So, got about 100 photos for you. What do you think? Oh, YMCA. YWCA. For the women. Don't, in the background, there's like a spade thing on you. Mm hmm. Can you see the streetcars? Yep. Looking like a, um, a part of the city, looking like they've been there a while. This supposedly um, depiction of the fire. What do you think of this? Right here? Castle. Oh, that's what I missed. There. Yeah, that there. Oh, yeah. Looking old, right? Very old. High school. The castle. Let's look down low here. Some interesting action going on here too. So one thing to look for in all these old buildings is a uh, basement. Do they have a basement? Do they have the windows down below? Or the, here you have an entrance down below. This is an old Masonic. Mm -hmm. the old Masonic temple. Look at the detail. The level of detail. So you're talking about um, what we typically see on cathedrals, right? So, so it's the style that's being. Uh, it's gothic style that's being uh, used in this case for a Masonic temple. Now here's a, um, a bird's eye view of Boston from supposedly from 1877. How are they getting a bird's eye view in 1877? Is that after the fire? Uh, yeah, not too long after. I'm All the buildings. Everything yeah. back in biz. Remember, it only took two years to put it back together. Another thing I like to look for is the sidewalks and streets, looking for this brick effect. That, that takes a lot of work. All this curb work here, this is 1898. This looking like it's been around a while, very much part of the uh, architecture. We have a, a series of schools here. Mm -hmm. 
seem to slap. They seem to be quite uh, elegant. And they slap these uh, titles on them. They've got some columns there. Do they have columns at your school. Here's a, a trade high school for girls. It's interesting. All right, the Boston Garden. Oh, North Station. I might have that wrong. It says North Station. These are interesting, though. I have the state house. Some of these have really nice resolution. Look at that statue. The horse. Mm -hmm. It's a very detailed statue. Mm -hmm. Look how big it is too. This is somebody mm -hmm. standing there. Alright, so we have the Burridge Mansion. I think I'm saying that correctly. And let's look at some of the inside of the mansion. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. And then you're getting again more of the detail. Unbelievable. This the, the finish detail in here is uh, very very difficult to do nowadays with power tools. Mosaic floor we have there. Another view of that room with the curved. I like that lamp. Yeah, and that's another thing you see too in these old houses. It's really really amazing light fixtures. And for a period of time when light fixtures were supposed to be very new. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's. Uh, I scratched my head on that one for sure. We're supposed to believe that they're all gas. Here is a very high resolution photograph too. This is giving us a good idea of the street scene. Let's try and zoom in here. The, yes, and very firmly embedded in a very well worn down street. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. These looking very worn, very rounded over and worn. Uh, not so natural for the horse and buggy, is my suggestion on these. Um, which is also a giveaway that we're being lied about the uh, historical timeline. Alright, we've got some interesting visuals. we got this just sitting in Franklin Park. Newcastle. Yeah. Maybe the top, right? And we have a star, star for it. Call it Castle Island there. And Castle Square Theater. And now let's look at the inside. I'm going to try to bring you uh, more photos of the interior of these buildings. Um, just to give you a sense of what we're dealing with inside and out. So these are from that Castle Theater. Very, very difficult to do this type of work. All right, here we have Chickering Hall. And this is a fantastic photograph. Really giving you a crisp idea of the detail. Again, we have lights built in. And they're not just like square around, they're like oval shaped. Like yeah, and they have also very well established sidewalks. And this is in the horse and buggy era, so. Christian Science Church. Not bad for a church, eh? Not bad at all. It looks like two churches. Yeah, possibly. Fantastic resolution on this one as well. An old city hall. See the basement windows there? Mm -hmm. So we know for a fact that this goes down. And if this goes down, that they would have had to have dug a very large excavation to begin the build on this. Uh, and that's something that w would be very difficult for that period of time. Without the heavy machinery that we have nowadays. Even this, we look down the Commonwealth Avenue, 1904, this photo taken. And you look at the uniformity. Look at the tops. What do you see here? Very different tops. They got cones. Spires. It's called the Commonwealth? And they're everywhere. Look in the background. Look at that. It's just Commonwealth. This is just the, the name of the street. Very interesting. Nice high resolution photograph as well. We have a courthouse. I say a courthouse because there are others. Uh, again, we have a lower level here. And we have uh, what you can see of as the 
um, cobble-style streets. Well-worn. This is court courthouse interior. I don't know if it's that courthouse, but it's courthouse. Just to give you a sense of the finish. Clock tower. Yeah, I call it the custom house tower. And this is the custom house. Again, in the foreground, we're seeing all of the infrastructure. Well laid out and looking old. Cyclorama. Apparently they used to put on these almost like 360 shows in here. And like it was like going to the theater. Um, the fourth theater. Alright, part of Boston College. Of course, if you have a college, why wouldn't you do that, right? Makes total sense. We've got windows down here. Another high school. Alright, Harvard Medical School. Here, look at this. Got a fancy little arch window there. Very down low. Mm. Basement? Mm. All types of statues. Mm -hmm. Ducks. Very detailed. We don't do that these days, do we? Oh, that was go. Here we have a horticulture hall as well. Which is strange, right? Mm -hmm. And who's this up here, I wonder? A queen? Maybe some sort of uh, goddess or something? Big crown. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to scroll through a couple hotels. This one, Alexandra. Um, this is the Peacock Alley of the Boston Hotel, which you're about to see. There's the Boston Hotel. So not looking like much from the outside, but you get this type of finish on the inside. It's interesting. Interestingly shaped here. Again, that detail on top. Hotel Lennox. St. James Hotel, very obscure. Hard to find this one. So no shortage of hotels back then, is there? There are lots of hotel summer sites in other towns too. Yeah, I've, I've just I've uh, left a lot out in this video as well. Here's the depiction of the inside of that Somerset hotel, just to give you an idea of the interior finish. So a lot of them not looking like much from the outside, but then when you get to the inside, you see here too. We've got windows down below, all, all the way down. Windows, 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 implying massive excavation. This one really blew me away. Host Hotel Westminster Garden. This is... Not, I hope we can see it. You see all these. And they go all along the building. These are statues. This also has been buried. The Hotel Westminster Garden. Look at this balcony up the corner. This would be really cool if we found a high resolution. What else is interesting here? What do you see? It's actually below street level. See that? Mm -hmm. So this actually has a floor below street level. I'm sure there's more below it. I've got to keep moving here though. Another hotel. No shortage, right? All looking like something interesting, and most of them no longer standing. Kensington Hotel with the lion statue. And there you see it close up. This gives you the street scene, gives you an idea of the age. So this is pretty big statues. Mm -hmm. Gardens. Mm -hmm. Another nice high-res photo. Horse and buggy days. These these look so. Uh, Dainty compared to the buildings I find. This one called the Lampoon Building. What do you think of that one? Yeah, and what do we got? A crane up here? Interesting. The library? No, not looking like too much, but here's the inside. What do you think? Yeah. I get a little tired of the people, the story where people think, oh, they just uh, had more care, they took more care with the way they built back then. 
that's why they're able to accomplish this stuff. It's like, no, there, there's something about the uh, historical narrative that we are not being told. I think it's, I think it's conclusive actually at this point. Majestic theater. Nice looking theater. What do you think it looks nice on the inside? Uh -huh. There's a, the dog making noise upstairs. Let's have a look. What do you think? Fancy pants? Uh -huh. Nothing special. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous, Boston. It's spectacular, really. Here's that Masonic Hall again. I throw this in because we have one Masonic Hall, we have two Masonic Halls. With the horse, this is the time when the horse and buggies were pulling the tram cars on the lines um, before they were all powered up and ready to go. We're told. So that's the narrative: is that originally all this was put in. But they didn't have electricity. They, they were just intended for uh, horses to pull, pull them. And then there's another Masonic temple, third. So interesting. All right, this is the Methuen Music Hall. Okay, I couldn't find an old photo of it. Here we have a modern day depiction. Now let's check the inside. What do you think, okay? Eh? And there we have the pipe organ. You're going to see that close up pipe organ. And another shot of it. And there, this one shows you that ceiling detail. Look at this. This is unbelievable. And look, we have these guys holding up the pipes from the pipe organ. This is unbelievable. I can't believe that this one came down through, through time without being omitted. Museum of Fine Arts, horse and buggy days, looking very old, nice detail. Like you even have this type of thing on the outside of the building. A music hall, mm -hmm. with some nice columns. A uh, bit of a detail up here. We'll check the inside. That would be the same pipe organ, but it's sitting in a different room, which I thought was interesting. And then we have the Conservatory of Music. Not looking like much on the outside. Here's the inside. What do we see again? Pipe organs. So pipe organs not just for churches. And look up here at the detail. Okay, post office. And we have the same thing going on here. We have a, a, a level below ground. So you really need to digest this, folks. A level below ground at this period of time and what that what that entails without disturbing of course the street around it when these things are built so that's why i laugh when i look at the historical timelines of these things okay the old south church let's check the inside of this place oh i thought i had some from the inside i suppose not. um opera house looking like something special and also an opera house but not the same building so kind of confusing inside let's take a look inside the opera house easy to do that right especially back in the 1800s that would be really easy to do i mean they, they were just skilled craftsmen never mind what technology they had at their disposal these are these are polished marble columns. Gold. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the chandeliers you were talking about. Another view inside there. Easy to do back then. They're all just craftsmen. I wonder who painted this little picture of the ceiling. Must have got a bit of a neck ache painting a ceiling, right? <laughs> okay. Getting down to it now, a couple left here. Here's the Quincy Market. Again, you see the uh, the brick pattern on the the worn brick, well worn. South Station train station. There's an elevated train coming through here. Horse and buggy era again. Yeah, horse and buggy. This one is the Vendome. They call it. 
Interesting, beautiful detail really, isn't it? It's amazing. Look at it. these little things coming off of there. See those? People call that like poles. This one, but no flag. Typically they call them flag poles, but the Trinity Church. Look, buried windows. See this? Why would you even put them in? Right? Now that implies that this building goes down deep. Right? Actually, this having a bit of a, a mud plug feel for sure. Not a bit, quite a bit. You can see the elevation here, how it's coming down. This is the inside of that church. Yeah. Interesting look. Different look than the other ones, but interesting nonetheless. And this is the outside of it. Looking very worn, but you see all the depictions here. These like statue type depictions. So no, no small feet, Boston. And then a couple examples of the uh, rail cars for you. And that one quaint. You can take a little ride around the city. And again, look at the cobbles, looking very old and well worn. The curb work, all the infrastructure down there, very well worn. So, a little peek into Boston. Uh, let's finish on this one, YMCA 1892. Uh, again, almost all these buildings have this lower level. So, uh, something I'm definitely keeping an eye out for in my uh, my videos is, is are those basement windows, because it, again, it indicates that a lot of work had to be done digging down um, and then putting all the infrastructure back. So that's the curb work around it, the road, that type of thing. So, and I, I, I omitted about half of my collection of Boston, otherwise it would have been far too long. Just trying to shorten these a little bit for, for the viewer. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. you have anything else to add? Yeah. This was his second biggest collection. Yeah. Yeah. Second biggest collection of photos. So it's a big city. Boston, yeah, one of the oldest um, in North America. So thanks for watching.